welcome to this presentation uh, on the topic towards a bot data set in github repositories for cargo i am natarajan uh, and i recently started my phd in august 2021 in the software engineering lab at the university of mons under supervision of professor tom mens so so first we need to have we need to see in collaborative open source software development i would elaborate on the topic uh, on the statement uh, we have uh, for many social coding platforms for example github for uh, collaborative and interaction of uh, developers for uh, developing the software projects but for this interaction and the collaboration would be very little very minimal or on a lower scale for small projects for bigger projects for example like software ecosystems that would be a big problem because we have lots of issues or pull request or call discussions that are going on so there are usage of bots for making this repetitive tasks or making the uh, difficult tasks easier so we use bots for this particular purpose and the bots that are used for this development of github project software projects are mainly called as development bots uh, and also so with respect to bots it, we cannot always guarantee that they are always advantageous they can also uh, delay the development of projects so we need to uh, identify the bot accounts uh, and for this the motivation would be to see uh, how bots are being used in a software ecosystem uh, for example if it's used to the, if it if they are used for the fullest potential or they have been uh, not used to the fullest potential that's one reason could be and the second reason could be who contributes to the project uh, in the presence of bots for example we can't give a best employer price to a bot we need to give it to a real contributor a human contributor there and the third point to analyze on how these bots are being used so for this purpose we are using the data set uh, that is given by that that is present that is the cargo package manager we are using cargo package manager as we, most of the packages are hosted on github we used crates.io api for uh, extracting the crates registry and we found uh, a 68000 odd crates to be present as of 15th october 2021 and in among them only 60% had a valid link and a unique repository link associated with those crates then since we wanted to uh, concentrate only on the github projects that have been associated with uh, crates we find that 93.5% of them are hosted in github repositories github platform among them uh, we are uh, also filtering further furthermore to see which software packages or projects are having a good documentation or a home page then so filtering them we have uh, 22000 odd repositories and further filtering down we wanted to uh, see what are the stable uh, versions the software packages are present the stable versions i mean the software versions that are not men labeled as alpha beta or they are not in the version numbers of 0.0.0 so we found 97% odd uh, to be a stable version packages then we then collected the unique repositories that are linked for example in a single repository different folders were linked as a different cargo package cargo package so we just link mapped on which unique repositories we are getting it them getting them out we and we landed it at 20000 odd repositories for this after the, after this we used a github's graphql api to uh, analyze what are the number of issues number of prs and number of commits that are present in all those 20 20000 repositories and um, as we know uh, I mean, as i told before uh, big projects uh, have, are more probable to use bots to make their development process easier so here i'm terming big projects meaning at least they have 100 issues or 100 prs and they have at least 100 commits so filtering them on this basis i filtered i got around 769 repositories which is just 1% of the main crates package 
So this is completely a curated set of repositories, which I believe to have bots involved in them. Before going into specific details about bots, let me uh, give an, uh, let me walk through the uh, distribution of the data here. So on the y-axis, we see or oh, it is on the logarithmic scale. So here we can see the maximum values. For example, if you take example for issues, the maximum value is in 10 power 4 terms, whereas the minimum value is zero, and the median is around 100, 100 uh, near 100. So by this we can see the distribution is like completely uh, on a lower level, which means there are many repositories which have 100 issues or 100 PS and 100 commits and the repositories that are having more than uh, 1000 uh, issues, 1000 PS and 1000 commits a bit lesser. So next going into bot detection, we are using the machine learning based bot detection tool Bodega that is developed in our lab. And this bot, uh, this bot detection tool collects the comments, uh, posted in issues, and pull requests in the repositories, and analyze based on and uh, take the account names, and then uh, based on the comments posted by those accounts, uh, we find whether the account is a bot or a human. And to make a confident, to make a good conclusion, we can we we put a condition here that one at least an an account should make at least twenty issues. Or PA comments in the corresponding repository for them to be classified as a bot or a human in that corresponding repository. And this tool returns uh, three classes one is human, bot, and the third one is unknown. What I mean by unknown is if suppose an account is making only three or four comments in a repository, then we cannot have, we cannot have enough evidence on whether they are, we cannot have evidence to confirm whether they are bot or a human. So we classify them under unknown. Going into bot detection tool and the statistics for them, we found around 76 bot accounts present in at least one of the queries. The categories are by considering comments posted only by PS, then comments posted uh, comments posted by authors only in uh, or by considering comments only in pull request, by considering comments only in issues. Or by consider, I mean, and considering the third category is by considering comments in issues and pull requests together. And here we can see that they are classified as the number of accounts that are classified as human, number uh, number of accounts classified as bot, and number of accounts that are classified as mixed, and number of accounts that are classified as unknown. The term by mixed, what I mean is, if suppose in nine repository, uh, suppose an account is classified um, as a bot. By considering only pull request comments, it uh, it can be considered as a human by considering only issue comments. So this is be, uh, due to the behavior like a bot-like behavior in pull request and human-like behavior in issues. So these accounts we consider uh, them as a mixed category. So out of the 76 bot accounts uh, that are classic that are being identified in at least one of these categories, we find that a majority of them are classified. Only as bots in uh, these considering these three categories, and around 35% are classified as mixed. So, coming into each and every category one by one, we can see majority of the bots are being used in pull request. Majority of the accounts, uh, bot accounts, correspond to pull request uh, commenting uh, compared to issues uh, uh, only and issues and pull request put together. So, next one would be to the interesting fact here is to find how many repositories are using how many bots. We can see there are very few repos uh, there are many repositories use fewer number of bots, like less than number of, uh, less than four four bots for the development activity. Here, 138 repositories use only one bot, whereas on the other hand, we have uh, one repository that use nine bots. And on the right side table, we can see the top 10 prominent bots that are used for the development activity, which on analysis, I found them to be present mostly in pull request, and a few of them found, were found to be uh, in issues, in issue commenting. So to conclude, here we have, here I have proposed a data set that uh, in which we can find a presence of bots for commenting. And we can use this for 
uh, studies based on bots and social technical studies as well in future or well, my aim is to improve this uh, performance and accuracy of the bodega tool that is a bot detection tool that i used for classification and consider another field uh, for example the commit comments uh, which is currently in a separate tool called bodega i am planning to include them uh, into bodega tool as well and then i can reduce the number of unknowns um, unknowns uh, is mainly caused uh, common less if the number of comments are less than 20 um, so here what i'm doing is to uh, i'm reducing the number of unknowns based on crowd wisdom for example uh, if uh, account is classified as bot in majority of the uh, repositories and in rest of the repositories is classified as unknown then i would like to revert that uh, class as a bot itself so that they can have more data on reading on studying about bots the final one of our future work would be to extend the accuracy to extend the detection of bot inspired by chatbot research chatbot inspired by the it is approaches taken in chatbot research for example the activity play frequency parallel tasks and so on thank you for your time i am happy to receive questions and suggestions